This is a promo for a Let's Play of a game about computer hacking. Hack and Slash is a game where you are a computer hacker. Your first puzzle is to hack a door from being locked to unlocked. And after that you have to deal with movable stones on the ground that are of course no longer moving. You have to yes. enable them to move at which point you are united with a helper sprite. Yes. After all, every game of this sort has some type of annoying helper creature who exists to annoy you, chide you, um, tell you that you're doing things wrong, etc. And, and this is no different. Alice meets her sprite, Bob. Here is the villain. Note that the villain has a sprite of his own. And Alice and Bob then proceed to break computer code, eventually rescue a princess. The Twitch Let's Play will be April 1st, Saturday, at 10.45 Pacific time at twitch.com slash keybounce. After getting out of the underground caves and wandering around a bit, breaking your way through rocks, you can come across some uh, decompiled code. Here is an example of code that you will eventually be able to hack and modify. Some of you may want to decompile this into Lua, but you are going to be working on what is effectively assembly of decompiled Lua. In this game, the computer code that drives each of the rooms that you are playing in can be modified by you so you can change how the things in the room behave. The eventual goal of the game is to modify DRM style protection on the game to unlock rooms that would normally be locked and rescue a princess. Now over here, remember at the start of the game you fell into a pit? This is going to be a Let's Play on Twitch. And by Let's Play, I mean I'm going to be asking for your ideas on what to try. All of the crazy ideas that you can come up with, all of the silly, that'll never work things, Notice that this thing lets you control day and night speed. At 100% day and night speed, you will notice the shadows changing. Remember what this said? When with the number of days goes past 50 days, it's going to spawn a beach treasure chest. I'm going to be taking the ideas and advice from the 50 days might take a long time, so let's speed that up, shall we? Viewers on Twitch, and we're going to see what sort of silly things can be done and what can happen. Look! You very quickly find out that healing is kind of a... not a big deal in this game. Ultimately, there is one puzzle in this game that has not been solved by anyone yet. Interesting outhouse. Doesn't do anything yet. And I'm hoping that with the power of the internet massive mind pl as played on Twitch, we will be able to solve this final puzzle. The only rule, no spoilers. This artifact is called Queen Sprite Gabe Hearts. Whatever that means. And you'll notice I'm at the point of basically just ignoring anything that does damage. If you have already played this and you already know the solution to a puzzle, you could of course have a bush drop parts if we wanted to. Don't give it. And over here is a castle of some kind. But at the moment there is nothing to do with this castle. It has a hacking port over here. Notice that I'm glowing. And we can try to open it. Oh, dude. Something happened to me. 
I personally have only gotten as far as getting the ability to alter the programming of the game and then proceeded to crash my save. We just can't get in there right now. Notice that the turtles break rocks. This is what you can do to turtles. By far the most interesting thing here is idle behavior. You can actually start programming creatures based on what you want them to do. Of course, a turtle that just spins in place isn't very useful. Especially when it doesn't even have time to recognize that you're there or do anything to you. <laughs> And now for the first information dump. Note what they said, it has happened twice. We have seen the big bad with one. When they cleaned up all that toxic waste. The lab that blew up. So what do you do when you've got a stone blocking a chest that you can't hack or push? Well, you've been trained at these guys. Thank you. All that work for? Oh, and by the way, you can do things like negative damage on hit when they hit you so that they heal you. They can explode. You can make them good, in which case they'll never flip over and you won't be able to do anything to them. Here's a more complicated idle behavior. Turns, sits, moves. Since you're editing live code, you have to be careful, you might make an error and cause a crash. Now this area is interesting. Note that as I move, I'm zooming in. And there's the passageways. As I move, I'm zooming in and in. And I find two choice points. Zooming in, two choice points. This zoom in is fractal-ish. It can continue on forever and ever 
with no resolution. Without something to show you the proper safe path through here, you're never going to find what you're looking for. So let's just head on out. And of course we will be back later. Area in 56k. What is area in 56k? Let's turn his volume down, shall we? He stops scaring turtles. This sure looks like an exploded lab. And that sure looks like toxic something. And we need a password. The treasure map that leads to this chest. Now, isn't this a wonderful way to keep a password secure? Notice that it's getting clearer, cleaner. This is the introduction to Hack. Join me for a Let's Play. Oh, we can't cross it here. We'll have to find another way to cross. The next thing that you learn, of course, is that things reset when you re-enter rooms. And who or what is this? already gave me hearts? Yes, you did. No, you haven't. It should be pretty clear at this point that the hearts is not the name of the game. Manipulating the environment by hacking is. This is a turtle spawner. Idols, turns at random, moves. And what does the turtle spotter do? It gives creatures a spawn behavior of move, idle, and then burrow. Move, idle, Bur burrow. Yes. 
the first programming challenge, and I deliberately, I note that I set the at maximum number of turtles to zero. The first programming challenge is to play around with this, and besides turning and idling, moving, there is grab grass, burrow, chew grass, and sleep. We've got new commands to give to turtles. And the first programming problem is simply get, uh, get across the get across the swamp with turtles. This is where I'm going to leave off. This is where we'll be starting from. The stream is going to be April 1st, Saturday at 10.45 a.m. Pacific time. Join me, and the rule is very simple. We are going to try all the odd and unusual things that people in Twitch can think of in chat. And thanks to the time movement artifact, which I haven't used yet, we can go back and try other things when people come up with even stranger things later on. The only rule is no spoilers if you've already played it all the way through. We're going to ha this is all about having fun in a let's play with feedback from the audience. Thank you. Bye bye.